first step is to start cutting out pages of the book. You will want to leave about a third of the book left. So we're going to cut out all of these and out, cut out all of these and leave about a third in the middle. And you're going to need your X-Acto knife or craft knife. And you're going to start slowly slicing the paper and keep slicing until pages start to fall out of the book. And you'll continue to do that until you have a third of the book in the middle. So it's easy if you cut from the front here, cut some from the back, cut from the front, cut from the back to make sure that your third is ending up right in the middle of your book. Make sure that your knife is sharp enough so that it makes it easier for you to slice out the pages. And now I'll just flip it over and cut some pages onto the back. And I'll just keep going back and forth and doing that just to make sure that that middle section that I want to keep is going to be right in the middle of the spine. As you can see, we're making some progress on both sides of the book. So we'll just continue to cut. And you're going to collect all of these and just set them aside for right now. Okay, so as you can see, we have finished with our cutting and we have one third of the book left right down the middle of our book spine here. So now we are going to separate these pages into about fifths. So we have five pieces to work with. So, you know, just kind of eyeball it, guesstimate it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So right now we're gonna focus on the outer pieces. So, I'm going to take this first piece, and what I'm going to do is we have our hot glue gun, which is warmed up and ready, and we're going to put a bead of glue along the inside of this page right here. And when we put our bead of glue along here, we're going to fold this over and glue it onto the spine so it's going to look like that. Alright, so we have our first piece. We're going to take our hot glue gun, put our bead of glue along the edge of the paper.
And then we're gonna fold this. Woo, it's hot, be careful. <laughs> and it dries very quickly. So we have to be kind of quick in what we're doing. Okay, fold it over, hook it onto your spine. And I would just hold it there for like 30 seconds. Okay, now that it's dry, and if it is loose, if you ended up not getting it quite where you needed it to be, you can always add more glue in the space there. So now we're gonna take our other fifth on this side, and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna run our bead of glue here, and then do our best to fold it and glue it to the spine so it'll look like that. So we're running our bead of glue. And then doing our best to be very careful to fold it over and glue it right to the spine and then hold it there again for about 30 seconds. Okay, now that we have our two sides finished, we're gonna focus on the middle and we're gonna focus on the left side and the right side and leave the middle piece for last. So what you're gonna do <clears throat> is similar to what we did for the larger loops on the sides. We're gonna put our bead of glue along the edge of our paper here the inside edge. And then we're gonna do our best to be very careful, fold it over and stick it right inside that other loop. And then we're gonna hold it there for about 30 seconds again. Now we're gonna take our left side, put a bead of glue on the inside edge of that piece And then again, do our best to be careful and fold this piece over and inside of the pages there next to that loop and then hold it for about 30 seconds. And that's what it should look like right now. Okay, and then we're gonna finish this part with our middle section. And we're gonna do the same with the bead of glue. And be careful to stick it in between the pages there and get it down into the crease as best you can. And I hold it there for a few seconds and you have the base for our craft. Okay, so we are going to set this aside for right now and we are gonna take our stash of cut pages and we're gonna take a couple at a time. And we're gonna glue some of them together. So we'll put a bead along the edge of a page here. And gently, carefully, because the glue is hot, glue two pages together. Set those aside, and then we're gonna glue two more pages together. These are gonna be the leaves for our loops that we're gonna create, that are gonna hang off of our book. So keep doing that. until you have one more set. And then I'll show you how to glue the leaves inside of your book. Now that we have our sets of two pages glued together, we are going to create different size leaves. 
And you're going to do that by running a bead of glue partially down your page there. And then you're going to take the other end and fold it over to the edge. So both pieces will be glued together, but you want to leave it as a loop. So you want to make sure that this part doesn't get folded, that you leave it as a loop. So that's one leaf and one length. Then our next one is going to be a little bit longer. So we'll put our bead of glue about here. And we'll again fold it over, but leaving that loop. So we have a little bit longer leaf there. We are then going to make one shorter leaf, fairly short leaf, by using just one page. And we're going to put our bead of glue towards the side of the page here, but not all the way over to the side. And then we're going to fold the other edge to the glue. Again, gently press it in so you have a very short loop or leaf that you're going to attach to our book. So we have our three different leaf lengths. We have our long, our medium, and our short. And we're gonna set those aside. Bring back our book. And we're gonna start attaching the leaves to the book. We're gonna start with the medium leaf. We're gonna put a bead of glue along this edge and then we are going to gently insert it into the folds between the first and second loops. So we will add our bead of glue and gently insert it in between the first and second loop and then hold it there for a few seconds. It's great because hot glue dries very quickly, so you don't have to hold it for too long. So we have our medium leaf, and now we're gonna insert our long leaf, and we're gonna put a bead of glue along this edge here. And it doesn't matter if it goes this way or this way. It doesn't make any difference. So then we're going to gently insert it into the same crease between the first and the second loops as far back in as we can get it. And you can see the glue from the first loop is still kind of wet and it hasn't completely dried yet. So why don't we hold that there for like 30 seconds so it will dry before we add our, our third leaf. All right, so we're going to add our third leaf here. And if it was difficult for you to get those leaves into the crevice there and they didn't quite stick, you can always throw some more glue, like you can see I did there because this was a little loose, you can throw some more glue into the crevice between your two, your two lo loops of the book. So now I've added another bead of glue to our smallest leaf and I'm going to gently insert it into the crevice of the two loops as best I can and then hold it there till the glue dries. So you can see now that we've added these three leaves our book mobile is starting to take shape. So setting this aside so I'm going to continue making different um, sized leaves and I have four sets of two pieces of paper glued together here. And I'm going to make our sort of medium sized leaf with each of these pages.
And now that I have four medium leaves, I'm going to glue them together. And I have two here. I'm going to put a bead at the top of this piece of paper here. And I'm just going to attach the two pages together like that. So they'll look like this. And I'm going to continue to attach the other two leaves. One more. So we have this nice long train of leaves and that's going to continue to create different lengths for our book mobile. And once that is dry, we're going to make one large loop. So we're going to put a bead of glue about halfway through the first page and fold our edge to the glue. So we have one fairly large loop for our leaf. Okay, and one more example of different combinations of different size leaves that you can do is I have two pages glued together here and I'm going to make a medium sized leaf. So we have our medium leaf and I've already created a small leaf with just one piece of paper and I'm actually going to glue that to the bottom of our medium leaf. So I'll glue along the top of our leaf there and just gently combine the two so it'll look like that. And then I have another set of two pages glued together and we're going to make a larger loop. And I actually kind of want this picture on the outside because I think it's kind of, kind of interesting and we'll add to the variety. So we're going to make a fairly large loop, bead of glue towards the top there. And you can see that this is kind of coming apart where I glued the pages together, you can always add more glue. And then you are going to glue the larger loop onto the bottom of the two loops that we just created. creating a set of different size loops. So I'm going to continue taking all the different size leaves and loops that I've made, put a bead at the top of the page that's going to be inserted inside of the book. And this longer set of loops that I've made, I'm going to put that right in the middle. So I've got my bead of glue and I'm going to gently Put it right in the middle of the book there and then hold it. So it's really now going to be up to you to play around with different size loops and play around how you would like it to be inserted into the book um, to help put your book mobile together. You have plenty of pages to work from so if you end up not liking some of the lengths that's okay you can just recycle those and try, um, try making a different loop or different size loops with all of the book pages that you have. Now that I've attached all of my loops and I've played around with the different sizes and different lengths, I have the shape that I want and I'm ready to hang it. So you're going to take your string, whatever is um, strong enough to um, hold your book while it's hanging, and you're going to insert the string through the spine, the binding. And hopefully, I mean, I'm lucky that my book right now has a gap between the binding and the outside cover of the spine. Um, if your book does not, you may have to wiggle your book around a little bit to try to loosen up your spine here. 
Um, if you have a small opening, you may try using a needle um, and maybe a knitting needle to help send your thread through all the way to the other side. So you may have to play around with this part a little bit to get your string or your thread or fishing line or whatever you choose um, to go all the way through to the other side. And once you've attached your string, you can now hang up your book mobile and you have your finished product. I hope you've enjoyed this make it video. Let us know how your project goes and share pictures in the comments. We will also have other uh, instructions that you can find online for similar book mobiles also in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to look out for our next make it video.